What's up everybody, Beats Blaine here. Today we're going to be looking at how I record bass into Ableton Live. Um, it all starts with that bass back there. It's one of my prized possessions. Uh, when I got out of university and got like my first real job, it was one of the first things I bought for myself. I love it. Uh, first real instrument I've ever really owned of uh, that caliber. Uh, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> I love my bass. All right, let's jump into it. So we're going to be going through a track called 40 Days. It's a single that I'm working on right now. Uh, the beat was made for, I think, day 42 of my daily beat challenge over on Instagram. If you're following that and liking and commenting and listening, thank you so much. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It means the world to me. It really keeps me going. Um, so yeah, let's give the beat a little bit of a listen really dig this beat um it brought a lot of rap out of me uh, so i'm really stoked for everybody to hear that uh, i just finished the artwork yesterday i'll put it in here so people can see it and get a little bit of an idea of what it's going to be like um but yeah this is one of my favorite bass riffs that i've written uh throughout my 365 day challenge i just like the groove so let's jump into it. Let's solo the bass. We're going to give it another little. I'm, I'm just going to take off some of these uh, plugins. Yeah. So first thing I start with is the EQ8 Ableton stock. Um, I tame the mids, uh, like the upper mids, and then I get rid of that little bottom in there. My favorite bass plugin ever is uh blue cats destructor blue cat audios uh so they got like a bunch of bass presets in here if you go to factory presets they got bass bass guitar bass guitar with the bite bass guitar with the drive um i'm always chilling in bass guitar uh the j1 i love it sick preset and then i just hop in here and play around with the knobs until i hear something that i like um the one thing that I always have when creating music is it has to service the song uh, and the plugins have to have a purpose I'm not just throwing them on uh, so they really service the beat in my opinion after Blue Cat Audio's Destructor I throw in a Ableton stock compressor uh, I sidechain it to the kick post effects um, Bring the threshold down a little bit yeah so side chain to the kick that's pretty much it i don't do much to my bass um but when i am putting it when i'm putting the beat on instagram i'll throw on this plugin here let me just grab it it's the eddie kramer i've talked about it in previous videos this thing it fucks it fucks i'll say it it fucks um so treble all the way up it Honestly, it doesn't really do much um, when I'm listening through my headphones, but when you hear it back on a phone, I swear it, it's doing a lot. Um, so yeah, after that, I create a bass bus. And again, not too much on here. I'm using the Abbey Road Saturator, and I am using Count's Bass DI Fattener. Sorry, uh, my CPU's <laughs> getting pushed a little bit. Um, yeah, I just find the saturator, sort of ties it all together and really lets it get through into the mix. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I record my bass into Ableton Live. Thank you for watching. Go check out my Instagram, 365 Daily Beat Challenge. We're doing crazy things over there. Um, let me know if you guys want to collab or anything. I'm always open. I'm making music all day, every day. Peace.